Good morning, accountants and managers. So ngayon, nandito pa rin tayo sa playlist kung saan nagsasagot tayo ng iba't ibang activities that involves transaction effects on the basic accounting model. So inaalam natin if there is an increase, decrease, or no effect on the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Okay, so start na ulit tayo magsagot. So sa 1, invested 100,000 pesos in cash to start her own business. So, yung asset natin ay nadagdagan ba o nabawasan? So, ito ay nadagdagan dahil mayroong in-invest na 100,000 pesos cash yung owner. Yung liabilities ay no effect. Then, owner's equity ay nadagdagan dahil may investment. So, yung owner's equity ay nadadagdagan kapag ka mayroong income or investment tulad ng naganap sa 1. And then, nababawasan naman kapag ka may expenses or withdrawals. Next natin, sa 3, paid 5,000 pesos for 1 month's rent. So, nagbayad daw ng renta yung business. So, nabawasan yung asset, liabilities, no effect. Then, owner's equity nabawasan dahil may expense. Next naman natin, bought office furniture for 15,000 pesos cash. So, namili daw tayo ng office furniture at binayaran din agad ito ng cash na ang halaga ay 15,000 pesos. So, yung asset natin ay nadagdaga ng office furniture na 15,000 pesos pero nabawasan din yung cash ng 15,000 pesos. Kaya sa total asset ay no effect pa rin. Okay? Kahit na merong uh, nadagdag at nabawas din sa specific account. Then, liabilities, no effect kasi nga binayaran ng cash yung furniture, no effect din sa owner's equity dahil walang income, investment, withdrawals at expense. So, next naman natin, nung 6, receive delivery of laptop computer. Ang halaga ng laptop computer ay 54,000 pesos. Yung kalahate, binayaran. Yung kalahate, utang muna. Okay, sabi dyan, balance due in 30 days. So, yung asset natin ay nadagdagan. Nang laptop computer, halaga 54,000 pero, pero nabawasan din naman yung cash natin ng 27,000 pesos dahil yung kalahati ay ipinang down. Okay, pero sa total asset natin, kung i-assess natin siya or analyze, nadagdagan pa rin siya dahil mas malaki yung nadagdag kumpara doon sa nabawas. Yung liabilities naman natin ay nadagdagan dahil nga yung balance, utang muna. Owner's equity, no effect dahil walang income, investment, withdrawal, at expense. Next naman natin sa 9, perform services for 12,000 pesos in cash. So, nag-render tayo ng services at binayaran agad ng cash ng customer. So, yung asset natin ay nadagdagan dahil nadagdagan ng cash. Yung liabilities ay no effect. And then, yung owner's equity naman ay nadagdagan dahil may income. Okay. Next naman natin, perform services for 10,800 on credit. So, yung asset ay nadagdagan dahil kahit hindi man nadagdagan ng cash, nadagdagan yung accounts receivable. Kasi sabi dyan sa perform services for 10,800 on credit, nagrender tayo ng services pero hindi muna nagbayad yung mga customers. Okay? So, ang nadagdag sa asset ay yung receivables or pautang. Liabilities, no effect dahil yung business nga yung inutangan. And then, owner's equity nadagdagan dahil may income. May income kahit hindi pa rin bayad yung customer. Okay? The next, 13, acquired a fax machine for 7,500. Binayaran muna ng 3,000 pesos na cash at yung balance naman ay utang muna. Okay? So, parang ito yung sa, trans, uh, sa 6, di ba? So, yung asset natin ay nadagdagan pa rin. Okay? Yung fax machine, 7,500. Kahit na nabawasan ng 3,000 pesos na cash, mas malaki pa rin yung amount na nadagdag sa total asset. Yung liabilities ay nadagdagan dahil yung balance, utang muna. Then, yung owner's equity ay no effect. Okay? Dahil walang income, investment, withdrawal, at expense. Next naman, 18. Receive 5,400 from clients on account. Ibig sabihin nito, nakatanggap daw yung business ng 5,400 mula sa mga customers na may utang. Okay? So, analyze natin na Yung asset ba na dagdagan o nabawasan? Nabawasan kasi yung receivable ay nabawasan. Yung pautang natin. Pero, yung cash ay nadagdagan kasi nga nagbayad sila ng 
pera, 5,400. So, kaya assess natin or analyze yung asset ba sa kabuuan na inanagdagan o nabawasan. So, no effect lang siya. Okay? Nabawasan yung receivable, nadagdagan yung cash. Parehas na asset account, therefore, parang quits lang siya. ba? Diba? So, yung liabilities naman ay no effect. Kasi nga tayo, yung business yung binayaran ng utang, owner's equity, no effect din dahil walang income, walang investment, withdrawal at expense. So, laging yung apat lang na yun. Next naman natin, paid 10,000 pesos for salaries. So, nagpasahod daw tayo ng empleyado. So, yung asset natin ay nabawasan dahil nabawasan yung cash. Yung liabilities naman ay no effect dahil uh, hindi naman natin utang yung salaries na yun. Then, owner's equity, nabawasan dahil mayroong expense. Next naman, settled in full, 4,500 balance for fax machine. So, yung asset natin ay anong nangyari? Pero bago yon ano ba muna yung nangyari? So, di ba meron tayong fax machine na inutang nung 13? At meron pa yung balance na 4,500? So, ngayon, nagbabayad na tayo ng utang. Okay? So, yung asset natin ay nabawasan dahil nabawasan yung cash. Liabilities dahil nagbabayad na tayo ng utang nabawasan siyempre. Yung owner's equity ay no effect dahil walang income, investment, withdrawal at expense. Next naman natin, receive 7,000 pesos in cash for services performed. So, nag-render daw tayo ng services at nakatanggap ng 7,000 pesos na cash. So, yung asset natin ay nadagdagan. Okay, dahil nakareceive ng cash, liabilities, no effect, and then owner's equity nadagdagan dahil may Income. Next naman, ng 24, perform services for 12,000 pesos on credit. So, ito naman, nag-render din tayo ng services pero hindi muna tayo binayaran ng customer dahil nakalagay kasi on credit. Okay? Yung asset natin ay nadagdagan, hindi man ng cash pero ng receivable or ng pautang. Liabilities, no effect, and then increase naman or dagdag sa owner's equity dahil may income. So, no 25, sabi, paid 1,350 for the monthly telephone bill. So, nagbayad daw tayo ng telephone bill. So, yung asset ay nabawasan dahil uh, yung cash, di ba? Pinambayad. Liabilities, no effect, dahil hindi naman natin utang yung telephone bill na yun. And then, owner's equity, nabawasan dahil may expense. So, next naman no 27, Paid 2,400 for the electric and water bill. So, same lang din. Pero yung binayaran naman natin ay yung mga utilities natin. So, asset nabawasan dahil pirambayad yung cash. Then, liabilities no effect dahil hindi naman natin utang yung electric and water bills na yun. Owner's equity nabawasan dahil may expense ulit. Next naman natin, collected 2,000 pesos from clients on account. So, sabi naman dito, nakakolekta daw tayo ng 2,000 mula sa mga customers natin na may utang. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung asset natin ay nadagdagan ba o nabawasan? Analyze natin. So, yung receivable natin nabawasan dahil nagbayad ng utang yung mga customer. And then, nadagdagan din yung cash natin dahil nagbayad nga sila ng utang. So, kung i-analyze natin yung total asset, no effect siya. Okay, kasi may nadagdagan, may nabawasan na same uh, amount lang din naman. Liabilities, no effect dahil tayo ngayon binayaran. Owner's equity, no effect dahil walang income, investment, withdrawals at expense. So, last naman natin, syempre hindi, pwedeng hindi mag-withdraw yung may-ari. Okay, so 7,000 pesos in cash for personal expenses. So, asset natin ay decrease dahil Winedraw nga ng may-ari, liabilities, no effect, and then decrease or nabawasan yung ating owner's equity dahil may withdrawals. Okay? So, sana marami ka natutunan sa video natin na to. At kung meron kang question regarding sa iba't ibang transactions at kung bakit ganon yung naging effect niya, huwag kang mahiyang mag-comment sa ating comment section. So, goodbye accountants and managers!